Let's do some more. X square, 8x, and 12 equals x plus 2 and x plus 6. x square, 6x and 9 equals x plus 3 and x plus 3. x square, 2x equals x and x plus 2. Good job. Now let's review. A rectangle has how many sides and how many corners? Four. In building a rectangle, we start with how many on the side and the rest on top. One. If one on the side doesn't work in building the rectangle, what do we do? Try two, then three, and so forth. Factoring is building a rectangle. The factors are what? The two sides. A rectangle can be described by its area or by the length of what? Its two edges. How did you do? Having mastered these concepts, you now have all the information necessary to complete books five and six. Let's look at book five. In Book 5, Level 1, there are pictures of blocks that are not shaped into rectangles. We must decide what rectangle could be built with these blocks. Let's do several on screen. On page 4, we see 7x and 14 units illustrated on the left. 7x and 14 units can be reshaped into a rectangle. There are three possible answers on the right. Only one represents the rectangle containing 7x plus 14. Our rectangle will look like this. Over x and 2 and up 7. Which of these is correct? That's right, the top one. Let's do the bottom one. This one is a little more interesting. We see x squared and 6x and 9 units. Our finished rectangle will look like this. It will be over x plus 3 and up x plus 3. Which of the rectangles on the right is correct? Again, it's the top rectangle. Let's move on to book 6. In book 6 of level 1, our focus is on the edges of the rectangle. The problems require a match of edges with a picture of a rectangle having those edges. Now let's see how we do here. We are on page 9 at the top. The illustration on the left represents the edges of a rectangle. One of the rectangles on the right has the edges illustrated on the left. Our over distance is x plus 1. Our up distance is 2. Which of the rectangles on the right has these edges? If you said the middle rectangle, you are correct. x plus 1 over 2 up gives us 2x plus 2. We have a similar puzzle at the bottom of the page. Our over distance is an x plus 2. Our up distance is an x plus 2. Which rectangle on the right has those edges? If you said the top rectangle, you would be correct. x plus 2 over and x plus 2 up are the edges of x squared plus 4x plus 4. So how are you doing? Mortensen Math helps us to conceptualize our mathematical problems in ways that are easy to understand and remember. This ends the study of the second set of fundamentals in algebra. You should stop the tape and take some time to review the books that we have talked about and try some of the examples in the books. Remember, you have all the information you need to complete books five and six. You can continue when you're ready.